Hello, my name is Anand Bean, and today I would like to use the Vadin router, the web component called router. And actually, you could build a router by yourself. It's not that hard. We actually did it in the uh, online course, Effective Web Standards, and it's about, I would say, 70 lines of JavaScript code. So, um, but today I would like a user ready to use router instead. So first, I will have to install that. And for this purpose, I will have to use npm to, to download the dependency. And uh, let's do this. And um, so I just have here an empty project with activated modules and a single dependency to an empty JavaScript file. So let's install the router, npm minus uh, or install and uh, route uh, vadin is the namespace and router is the module. And the interesting part is um, what gets installed is uh, a single file, which is uh, already an ES6 module. So what I would like to do is to copy the, um, the router from node modules, vadin, router, dist, and I think it's called, yeah, vadin router.js into my current project source, just straight to source, just do this, and we have the router. So what's interesting, the router exports resolver and router, so it is now ready to use. So. We are empty here, so what I would like to do is to introduce the outlet or slot, and uh, I would like to use the tag output for that. And then I will need a couple of links. So let's do this. The first link uh, is first, and the second link is going to be second. So let's do this, a href and um, second, second. And um, yeah, what we can also have, or just, Keep it so we have two links and the idea is if i will click here something sh should happen on screen so uh, let's say the output here the outlet has to be replaced with the current component so we don't have the components now so let's create two let's call it ear first js and this is ear first extends html element element and um, we will need connected callback and this connected callback will set some content and this is going to be first first so we have that and custom elements uh, define i would like to register a tag with the name air first almost first and register the air first element now what uh, i would just do just copy this copy air first to air second second so copy it so we have air second and now i would like to copy this and this is going to be second so we have air second 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 looks good except this is lowercase so we have two components and they have to be imported here otherwise they are are not going to be usable so let's do this import air first js and also i would like to import air second js so we have both and now let's use the router so how to use the router and this is well described here so uh, we will first to import the router so it happens here and we have to import it from uh, vadin router so we just need the router and the outlet is not an element by ID rather than I would use query selector and the query selector will search for output. Then the root pass, also the default pass is going to be if, let's call it second, second. Then this is going to be uh, first and this call yeah first, yeah first. And this is going to be second second and this is going to be a yeah, second a yeah, second so this is the routing information and now it already should work so thank you for watching and see you at upcoming air hacks workshops conferences or projects so thank you and bye